Hi guys, I am Mayur and you are watching Advanced Functions in Smart Reporting Part 1. Advanced Functions are something which allows you to modify data at report level. So let's get started. Here I am on the report designer page. So first, let me pull few fields to play with the advanced functions. So I can select company, department. So one thing to remember, when you are pulling fields from same hierarchy, so this line indicates that they belong to same hierarchy you need to select no drill else it won't allow you to pull those fields into column section so company department region and number of incidents i gonna pull so to access those advanced function we click on this drop down menu so once you click on that it shows you list of functions which are available for you so under aggregation you can see you have count and count distinct in sort you know it's pretty <coughs> straightforward as the name indicates sorting it does sorting of the department uh, when we click on format there are three options okay edit conditional formatting and clear clear is something to remove all the formatting which you have applied earlier so when let's go under edit so here you can change the display name of the column so you can put here department name you can set the format as already it is text format so i gonna leave as is show field in case you want to hide that particular field so you just click on off so it hides and this let's let me show you what happens and just click on close so now you won't see department field here but it is there in the column section so this is something which allows you to use this particular field in chart section so you have a requirement like you don't want to use this particular field in the table but you want to use that field into chart so under such scenario you can do that so i gonna go back and make it visible on so suppress duplicates it's something which removes duplicate value under sorting you can set sorting under data here you can set aesthetic of the field like font font style alignment background and all those things are there so there is other thing summary here you can select whether you want to show count or some total so let's select count and close and see what happens so here you could see at bottom we have count of the department which are present there so let's have a look at other functions as well so here at, uh, you can delete that particular frame from here as well you can hide that you can add filter let me click on add filter so automatically it goes into the filter section so in next part of this tutorial we will see how you can use this advanced functions and group data uh, let us to take a look at uh, what all different functions that we have for a number field uh, so this number of incidents is a number field so most of the functions are same which we had we have seen earlier so the only difference is that here you have one extra function which is totals so under totals you can see you can do some average count count distinct or calculated totals so let's click on sum so you could see what exactly happens so it it shows you sum of all number of incidents so there are 280 incidents and that's it thank you for watching please watch all other videos of smart reporting to have better understanding of the product